parties are very important, Lord. But there's always a little apprehension on account of all the novels. Chits are really reinforced with the unfocus. Ah, I smell that. What? Little Shantos gives him Dutch curry in the chest. Oh, joy. So come on, you won't find a lot of you. Many would say I've sacrificed my liver for my art. Well, that's simply not true. Because after 30 years of late nights and the odd glass of wine or two, I've developed my very own self-preservation plan. A plan, I hear you cry? Well, after travelling the world, eating and drinking as I go, I've stumbled on various remedies and cures. Some given to me by kindly bartenders, others by wise and experienced chefs from the Orient. So, as a sensible cook, I've taken their advice and created my own survival plan. Ah, oh, the chemical relief, the hypothalamus, and the various glands that go through the human being causes a great suffering. I've been the brain bocker, the neurothorcus, all this chemico, psycho, brain bocker, all confusing thorcus, all deep folly. For the really desperate, I've included some very effective morning after drinks that have particularly soothing qualities and have been used for years the world over. But, and this is very important, hangover cures are all very well, but they can be abused, as we all know. So, my dear gastronauts, if you really want to sort out your whole system and restore the spring in your step and are prepared to devote three days to fresh air, gentle exercise, no alcohol, but light, exciting, delicious and nutritious food, then, my Nortonesses, this plan is for you. Watch closely. But it was succinctly summed up by Professor Stanley oh, Unwin. Oh, I won't discover me in the guilty conscience. <laughs> but it's better. I feel better. But there's a little deep unease in the tum loader. I've got a guilt, indulging the self-hate, the way I show off to all these Aristophiles and the knowledge of these peep loaders. Besides, what effect on the human bill, the hepatide insofar as the liver suffering, what on the renal in the kidney? Oh, the chemical relief, the hypothalamus and the various glands that go through the human bill causes a great suffering. I've been the brain bocker, the neurothorcus, all this chemico, psycho, brain bocker, all confusing thorcus, all deep folly. Come in, come in, come in. I'm feeling terrific. Absolutely fabulous. Do you know that? I've been three days on my Floyd self-preservation plan, eating the lemon juice and melon, sensible, balanced fish diet, early to bed, early to rise, makes all people healthy and wise, all of that stuff. But tonight, you know, tonight, I think I feel like popping out with a few chums, just for one or, just one or two little ones, maybe a pint of beer, a couple of glasses of wine, maybe. Nothing serious, you understand. But just in case, I've been very sensible, and I've had a really good plate tried my to line my stomach, which, by the way, is feeling really happy and contented because I've treated it so well over the last couple of days. Anyway, so that you can recap and really understand what we've been talking about over the last three days, here's Professor Stanley Unwin to give you some very coherent words of advice. Yes, I call this my PPPF, which is Prepare for the Party Plan Thunderbolt. Very important, Lord. And it's a training session, you see. Not for Olympics and pushy up a low down and run a mile and a half long seconds. Nothing like that. You must have a good base. This is important, though. I compare this to the underfelt for a good city room carpet, where people who have laid with a winkle pickers, tready up a low down and cord, and he's up Mother Brody and all that. Your tummy is a comparison with this. So take plenty of good food and stuffage as a basic for where all the food and tready tready on top of it. You're the meal. Oh, yes. Milk. There's the liquify here, lots of liquid, you see, and there's the milk is the foodage and the liquid. That's why I mentioned milk's best load. Now then, olive oil. Now, you won't like this, but the Italians and the Spanish do a little half glass tilty elbow and quickly pour down the epiglop. It may sound <coughs> and pukey pukey, but you'll get over that, no prop load at all. And then the uh, fibre. This is an important load. Fibre and bulk in the case of potato mashing. All stuffle down the grebe, and lots of it. This will swell and take the alcoholic contemplation and spread it out the whole of the human field. All very important, though. And also lots and lots of water. All tilty, tilty down the throat. You may find this difficult on account of your whole system build up the reservoir. There's a failure. And the reason for this, it goes through the irrigates, right through all the, all the ends of the researches that any beer could never reach in its own front mold. And you'll do that. And this will be wonderful. And you'll rise like lark in the deep joy of the early morning, and next time will be your most wonderful party. And I wish you joy.